before but these guys picked up brussels sprouts these are some skinny skinny brussels sprouts are we gonna have any flavors up in here humbles or asparagus or <laughs> i knew <laughs> i knew <laughs> Hey fam, mom and Mick here. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. We did a little intro that we're gonna sneak somewhere into this video, but uh, today we're gonna be doing a little bit of a grocery haul. However, um, yeah, Mick and I had a little segment that we wanted to interject into the vlog. I keep using that word. I don't even know if that's a real word. Interject. Don't come for me. If Interject. Don't judge me. <laughs> You're right, that is a She's word. She's judging me. You with it. win. <laughs> um, these guys went to the grocery store and they picked up a bunch of stuff. Like I told her I did initially, I was like, pick up two things, pick up three things. And then the list kept growing and growing and now we're here. This is not from Costco, it is from a local grocery store that's really close by. But I'm very happy that they went there because they were able to get their hands on a couple of things that we typically cannot get anywhere else, as well as I was on a hunt for a product. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what this product was. It was something for Gabrielle's hair to remove buildup from her scalp. Why is it that we cannot find um, clarifying shampoo? It is mostly a food haul, but there are some things in here that are, you know, you know the non drill, that are non-food related. And that was one of the items that I had them on the hunt throughout the whole store in search of. Was it hard to find? Yes. Yeah. Okay, especially considering we didn't actually find what you were looking for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I told you guys look for clarifying shampoo and then what happened? We were looking for about 15 minutes and we found one that had fine print on one of the labels and that's what we brought home to it's you. No, it's so funny. We kept selling, I kept telling them clarifying shampoo, clarifying. They couldn't find it. They kept looking for, they kept finding purifying or detoxifying, something along the lines. Detox, yeah. Detox, detox and we couldn't, I mean, it sounds like they're one and the same, but I wasn't quite sure. So, um, Gabrielle kept looking. She was doing research in the background with her little fingers. Tipper, she's, she's, actually, a she's a pretty fast typer these days. She typed really well and then she found this Aveeno. Um, she found this Aveeno one that popped up because I did have a clarifying shampoo once before but it was given to me by my mother-in-law. We used it and we really liked it but where in the world does she get it? We do not know because every time I try to find it, I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> so my last resort is Amazon but I am not going to pay $27 for a little bottle of clarifying shampoo now i know for those of you folks who know about hair and know about like all the natural remedies and whatever you're probably gonna tell me you could have just made the concoction yourself sarah i know this i do know um apple cider vinegar was suggested a five to one part ratio of one part apple cider vinegar a hundred millimeters milliliters a hundred milliliters to 500 milliliters it's a five anyways Mirrors? let's scratch that okay a five to one ratio of apple cider vinegar however they mentioned that you just want to make sure it's diluted enough so it doesn't burn the child's hair i don't want that and i didn't want that and i had a little fear so i stuck with a product from the store though they went on a hunt for it and they couldn't find it very easily <laughs> long story short by the time gabrielle found one and said here I mentioned it to her and she was like, oh, it's right here. And they both yeah. found it. Like it was, there it was. It was there the whole time. It was there it the whole said, time. I've seen that it said clarifying on it. Yeah, and it said exactly what I asked for. And these guys kept saying nothing in the store says clarifying. It, look at where it says clarifying on it. It's here. This white label exactly. says clarifying. You should have read it. We're cause... looking at this and this and this. Yes. And I replaced your glasses last year. <laughs> <laughs> anyways guys um without further ado let me get into the little grocery haul little slash big grocery haul that they picked up that that they did because there are 
quite a few things here and hold on and as well as as well as when i do shop at costco there are some other things in here that are not grocery related that are not from costco this time they're actually from the stores that they went surrounding the grocery store so yeah, continue watching. One of the first things that I, one of the first things I wanted to get were beans. We, I asked for five cans of these, and yeah, I think five is what I got. Then I asked for ten cans of chickpeas, um, and they got me exactly that. Next thing that I asked for were collards, but Mick sent me a picture indicating that the collards were all wilted. At first I thought they didn't look so bad, but then she showed me an up close, shriveled up version of what she sent me the first time, and I realized. I do not want that. So they ended up getting me, oh, they got me kale. Yep, they got me, I asked for one kale. I felt like I should have just upped this to two, you know, or, oh, may, or maybe three. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but then I got two, is this, this looks like bok chow or something. Okay. Bok choy. Anyways, and they got me two things of Swiss shards, which are really tasty. For the longest time, I used to think that Collard greens were the only like tasty greens and then I branched out because I couldn't find it Sometimes you have a hard time finding it in the grocery store or I should say sometimes we have a hard time finding it in the grocery store and so We ventured out and I actually really have grown to love Swiss chards and they have a lot of nutrients including iron I believe I think that's the main one of the main things as well as you know other stuff so I'm excited about that now I'm gonna pick a day of some kind to fix to cook it so it doesn't wind up being shriveled up and thrown out in the garbage because that's not that's a big no-no so this isn't something i asked for but these guys picked up brussels sprouts these are some skinny skinny brussels sprouts are we gonna have any flavors up in here humbles or asparagus or <laughs> i knew <laughs> i knew <laughs> It came out wrong. This is why I'm gonna leave this in here. So you at home, whoever is watching this, do not judge because I know you've done this before. <laughs> here we are again. Let's try this one more time. These are very skinny asparagus. <laughs> Look at them though. Are you sure those are asparagus? Yeah, are you sure? Are you sure they're asparagus? This is what this is turning out to be one funny grocery haul. <laughs> oh gosh. So they got two bunches of those. We like this. And yeah, I mean, it looks all right. It's just very um, thin. <laughs> yeah, Once again, they grabbed some pizza and we did pick up two of these this week. Guys, I don't know. This is, it's, we don't pick this up very often. Like I said, we don't even have pizza days very often anymore. But yeah, we just needed to pick up something and it's quick and it's easy. When we do grab pizzas, we usually do grab them in pairs because we're a larger group of people and we eat a lot of pizza. Well, we yeah, a larger pizza. family, exactly. Yeah, One larger box. Family. One box won't serve for all of us. Yeah. Still, okay, now I'm feeling like we're in Salt Central right here. Yeah. <laughs> um, they picked up some bologna, then they picked up some hot dog. I just mentioned this the other day that we don't pick this up often, here it is again. Like, like I said, often to me would be, I guess, every single grocery haul. Literally, we've only picked this up maybe twice this year. Um, we requested some Rice crispy square uh, Rice Krispies because last time Charlotte used this to make Rice crispy Squares and they were the bomb. So we, we got this cereal specifically for that. We also picked up the same bag of mini marshmallows that we used for that last time. Next thing that I really enjoy is this creamy coconut, um, what do you call it, superfood oatmeal. Love this stuff. He picked up two boxes of those. They're hard to come by. I swear, I feel like... If I buy two and another person comes into the store and buys two, it feels like you won't find them again for a while. You only get, um, how many packets? Six packets in here for $4.99. That's the only thing about this is that they're pricey, I find. Like, it's not really, um, I don't know. It's not like the cheapest oatmeal, but it is really, really good, eh? In comparison to the blue menu one that I have, this one is just a step up because it actually has, you know, coconut and just something different. The other one is just like plain steel cut, which I can spruce up myself, but I don't always want to do. Had homemade waffles. Well, that called for syrup. And we are talking about real maple syrup. These kids are blessed. These kids have never had fake syrup ever. Have you? Oh, we've tried it before. Oh, you've tried it before, but you but don't, it, but you yeah, don't like we it, know huh? The real stuff tastes like. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how much this costs per bottle? Like twelve bucks. It's something like that. Like, and these Actually, kids. These are on sale today. They're eight bucks. Oh well, 
So now you think you can double up your serving, huh? Yeah, it was dad's idea. <laughs> <laughs> These kids are so blessed. They don't know what they they don't know how good they have it. Like real maple syrup. I know I've heard of like families who are who said that they their kids only get this on like special occasions and what like they just think why bother spend so much on maple syrup when it's just kids and they can just they like the fake stuff our kids <laughs> they like they said they've only they've tasted it here and there but they've only had real maple syrup and i've come to love it too better the real stuff literally it just i don't know it doesn't taste good to me what, the, the, the fake stuff i mean the fake stuff doesn't taste good to me i'm tired, tired. <laughs> i am so tired <laughs> the fake stuff just tastes like sugar whereas in um, maple syrup tastes like, you know, <laughs> maple syrup. They also grab this uh, fruit drink. I don't know, there's not much to say about it. They grab two of them, their juices, fruit punch. Are these real juices? I do not know. Oh, nope, it says with artificial flavors. Come for me, um, health police. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, jokes are healthy. Come, Kids I, shouldn't be the, drinking The health those police colors. is gonna come for me and say, "Why don't you make these juices by yourself?" We got powdered sugar. That's for baking. <laughs> Let them know real quick what last week what happened. Last week, we needed powdered sugar for all of our baking recipes, and we had, did not have it. So we tried to substitute granulated sugar for everything, and, and it, it was, was terrible. It was. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I tried to make icing with granulated sugar. Gabrielle tried to make. Yeah, she also tried to make icing with grape sugar. And it Don't was a make icing with grape sugar. <laughs> it was a big fail. We needed a water filter. What's what's this one for? Oh, for the fridge. Okay, so we needed to replace our water filter for the fridge. We grabbed that. As well as our air 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 ale filter for the fridge. <laughs> as well as the air fr air filter <laughs> for the fridge. No one can pronounce. Air. Oh my gosh, and have you also grabbed this light from my closet if you guys have been following our vlogs You see that we are kind of like I don't know revamping my closet a little bit just to get it looking and functioning like a real Walk-in closet. So if you guys have been missing out Keep up with the vlogs as well as check out the individual videos that I've made and you guys will get to see the full reveal sooner than later Quick. Oh, I just realized we forgot hot dog buns. Um, we picked up deodorant. Uh, what is this? These guys needed deodorant, they picked up that one, and they picked up which one? Is this one mine? Uh, oh, did you need one? I thought you picked it up for me, it's for that you? That was dad's. No, it's for me, I thought. Oh, maybe you oh, okay. picked it up for you. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> I forgot you needed one. Oh, that's okay. So guys, in relation to what I was talking about earlier, um, with the products that we needed for our hair, this is the one that I initially saw on a list of like one of, like, I don't know, nine, <clears throat> on a list of like 10 best uh what do you call it clarifying shampoos this was on there surprisingly and they found it really quickly so i'm excited to try that it doesn't say clarifying here though in canada it actually says purify and hydrate whereas in the one that i saw online actually said clarifying which is crazy this is the one that we found last minute. It's an apple cider vinegar blend which is ironic because i was going to use apple cider vinegar um, the one with the five to one part ratio at home. That's what I was going to use anyway So that's really cool and it's by Vino a product that I actually know and love so I'm excited about that Their stuff is really good. I use the body lotions in this line a lot and then we also found this and then we also found this rinse. It says it just clarifies and shine. And this is what I'm actually going to use on Gabrielle's hair. It will be featured on our hair channel if you guys don't know. We do have a hair channel, but we haven't been posting on there. Uh, we don't post on there very frequently. But every now and again, if we have some new products or get a new idea, we'll throw it up on the channel over there. Um, just so you guys can see and view those kind of videos. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Guys, and that's it for this grocery haul. It turned out to be very long, but it's like a grocery haul slash vlog, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, let me know if you liked, let me know if you've tried any of these hair products that I just showed you. Um, I'm Like I said, I'm gonna try them. Um, leave your comment down below, and if you guys are new, definitely hit the subscribe button, guys. We do like to share our grocery hauls around here. It's usually a large haul from Costco. This is just a grocery haul from our local grocery store. So if you guys are into grocery hauls or like daily vlogs, um, just that kind of stuff, just down-to-earth family vlogs, definitely subscribe to our channel and um, leave your comments down below. And until next time, guys.
Much love. Bye.